y'all welcome to our family channel my name is Shana Marie and um I just wanted to say that I had a revelation pretty much yesterday but like deeper today um like you gotta watch the energy that you invite or you know like what you put your energy into um, ever since I started doing that, I noticed, like, I've been happy. Um, a lot of times, people will take on other people's problems. And you might not know it, but, like, just by listening to somebody, like, I'm one of them people, I want to help them. So, um, just by listening to people, I, I tend to, like, get stressed out from taking on their problems and then um i just started feeling overwhelmed you know like trying to help people and not really like feeling like oh it's not my problem because i'm I'm a helpful type of person um but at some point you got to realize that helping others may not always be helpful to you um so like recently i just started focusing on myself you know myself my family my kids i started doing youtubes um and i'm like i liked it you know i started doing the uh not like really like to get ready with me but like the shopping um vlogs like when i'm out and stuff and that was fine but for me there really wasn't like the content that i wanted to give because i'm deeper than that and i feel like for the most part like it's not a facade because it's real you know i'm really out shopping i'm really buying stuff but it, it it doesn't help like people get to know me or i felt like i wasn't giving anything to the people who i want to reach um but anyways, I was saying all that to say, like, manifest the life you want. Um, if it's something that doesn't help towards, like, your goals, sometimes you really can't, you got to block it out. You can't focus on that because it'll, it'll slow you down from what you're working on. Um, this month, this year is, like, my one year in tech. I completely did, like, a whole career change. Um, I was in the medical field and... It got boring. Um, so I studied on my own. Um, I got some certs. I got a job. And I got some experience. So right now I am on a really good contract. And I make pretty good money. Like I, I'm happy. Um, but before I feel like. Maybe I can't say it was the people that I was around. But I didn't really feel motivated to go hard. You know towards what I wanted. Um, I felt like I was okay. I was good. You know, I was comfortable. Um, it wasn't until I got uncomfortable that I started to grow. Um, when I started to grow, I realized that, um, I felt stuck for a little while. I felt like I wasn't myself no more. Um, and I just felt like I was always bored. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what I liked. Um, everything that I used to do was old. Everything started feeling old, like I'm too old for that or... I used to do that oh I did that for a long time I don't want to do that no more other than shopping it wasn't really nothing that I felt like I was interested in and at that moment or in that moment I stopped I just stopped and I started thinking you know and I started uh self-reflecting um and realizing that it wasn't that I was just bored or that I was just stuck it was that I had grown to a point where those things were now old and I didn't realize that I had grown so I felt stuck and now that um, I've like accepted like my growth and realizing that okay I'm not the same person anymore like I found different stuff that I like different stuff that I take interest in um, a year ago today the life that I live right now is the life that I imagined um, it was the life that I was working towards, but I wasn't actively working towards it. I was taking my time, um, procrastinating. And when certain situations happen, um, you got the opportunity to, it's either you get scared and you stay stuck where you are, or you'll adapt to what you're going through and you'll find a way to succeed. And... I have truly been blessed. Um, we are truly blessed. My kids, my oldest daughter is making me so proud. You know, like, um, we moved to a whole new area. 
and I just wanted to give a better life to my kids, you know, and have a happy life away from certain things, you know, when it comes to my family, um, so that my family could grow. But my oldest daughter, she was so into basketball, so now um, she's in a new school. She made the school basketball team. I'm so proud of her for that. Um, she made honor roll. This is first quarter report card just came out. My baby made honor roll. So yes, I gave her some coin for that. Um, my youngest daughter too, she's so smart. She know every little thing, every color. She gonna have a whole conversation with you. She is the bomb. You know, and like my relationship, me and dad, like our relationship has grown. I feel like we, we so locked in that locked in is now like an understatement for what we have. You know, the bond that we share, everything we've been through, um, being where we are, you know, we, we work together. We work together as a team and we make things work and... A lot of things was sometimes I feel like I probably wouldn't have knew what to do or I would have felt like I was alone or, you know, I just need that extra push to keep going. Like, he gave me that push. Like, he with me 100%. I never had to question him about what he do or I never had issues about females or nothing like that. Like, we, we've really been good. But, like, right now in life, I feel like this the best. Like, we probably the happiest that we've been since like we first met you know that honeymoon phase the honeymoon phase is like yeah like it's everything you know but when you be with somebody for a long time sometimes you get out of that honeymoon phase but we always find a way to get back in you know we still in love we still like each other so right now um you know i just I have everybody focus on themselves like yes we are a family but you focus on you and make sure that what you want is what you're working towards you know what I'm saying everybody whether it be the kids me dad you know everybody sometimes you got to focus on yourself at the end of the day we always a family we a family we live together we move together we move as a unit um but even in that family unit, everybody is still an individual person. And so we have to make sure we tend to the needs of everybody as an individual. Um, and whether those needs is something that you can help with or something that they got to really go get on their own. You know, we just always support each other. Um, but what I did realize, you know, too, is when you have your own family, um, sometimes it might make the family that you come from feel away you know or feel like it's second and in nature it, it does become second you know even though we are all one family in nature the family that i make or made is going to come before the family that i came from you know in certain situations the loyalty never change the priority does um and i feel like even with that sometimes it's hard you know um without feeling guilty to live the life that you want like i'm really living the life that i want and i know that if i am where i am today then in another year i could be further um last year last year was different last year was hard last year push for change um i changed my life in a month one month it took me one month to figure out what I wanted to do and do it. Um, and I did. And I'm so proud of me today, you know, for making that change and working on me and loving my family and having my family love me and support me. Um, Cause life be life and shit ain't, <laughs> shit ain't easy, you know. You might make something look easy, but it's not. Um, and I'm just glad that I'm here. I'm glad I'm here. I'm happy to have everything that I have. Um, I'm happy to have the people around me that I do. And I just kind of wanted to put that out there, you know, to people. You know, sometimes you got to believe in yourself. And it's not always easy to keep going. But you keep going. You might not know how you're going to do it. But it's not for you to know how to do it. Because God got a plan for you. What's for you going to always be for you. And can't nobody stop that. Um, And I just feel like that. I feel like that right now. You know, I always felt like that. But 
when you start to see, you know, when you stop talking and you start listening and you start watching and paying attention, you will see things just move. You will see him move things that you never thought you was going to get past. Um, you will see or notice that you've healed from things that you probably never even talked about, but just feeling that and feeling like you want better or you want to do better or you want to change. You know what I'm saying? Just that feeling, you know what I'm saying? You got to ask God to remove that, you know, remove hate, remove the hurt, you know what I'm saying? Heal the pain. Um, you got to ask him to make you whole and he will. And when you ask him, you got to believe that because he will. Um, I'm going to turn 29 next month. I'm going to be 29 years old next month. And I never, I would have never imagined to go through some of the things that I went through in life. And I know that without God, I wouldn't have made it through those things. Without God, I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, so I stand firm in who I am and what I believe. And, and I keep going. And it's working. Um, a year from today, I probably be making another video. Like, damn, look where we at now, you know. But we gonna keep going. Um, I definitely just wanted to take a minute, you know, and put something positive out there because, you know, social media is so big, and it's just like, oh, you gotta live a certain way, or you gotta have a certain thing. And yeah, I'm about to design the shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna drive. Uh, the car that I want to drive, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to go where I want to go, I'm going to travel, I'm going to live, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to enjoy life, but it's not always about the look, um, because sometimes you can really be going through something and a person would never know, because people see, oh, you do this on social media, or you said that on social media, but they don't see you, um, and people not, people don't talk about their problems, Ain't nobody on social media like, yeah, um, I was late on my rent last month, you know, but they gonna show off that apartment, you know, they gonna show off that car that they ain't paid the car note on, you know, um, because it looked good. Um, all the time, everything that looked good ain't good. And no, you don't have to always put your problems on front street, but don't get to a point of pleasing everybody else that you live in a facade. You, and I, I don't know, like, I put this on, in my kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, be yourself. I don't care who you're around, what you're going through. Always be true to who you are. Um, because that's you. That's your power. You are you. Nobody else can be you. And you got to believe in yourself. Before people believe in you, you got to believe in yourself. Nothing else nobody else say is going to matter until you believe it. Whether it's good or bad. When you start feeling down about yourself or you start feeling insecure, it's not because somebody else said something. It's because you believed it. Um, your thoughts have power. Your words are powerful. Watch what you say. You know, like, watch what you allow, you know what I'm saying, yourself to partake in. Even if it's just conversation or a certain vibe. I'm big on energy. I can be around a person that I never knew and never have... A conversation just speak to them and something can feel off about that and I'm a distance myself why because energy is transferable if I'm around something or somebody that's making me feel uncomfortable I'm gonna start to act like I feel uncomfortable um and with that I would just not put myself in situations like that um and it took being in situations like that and reacting to situations like that in the wrong way to help me learn how to react to situations like that in the right way at this point i don't put myself in those type of environments i'm not gonna put myself in a room with people that i don't like because i'm not gonna enjoy myself i want to be happy i want to be my best self in any room you know what i'm saying of course you be cordial um given the situation but if you don't have to why would you um so just you know, believe in yourself, focus on yourself, um, big up yourself. You know, I feel like sometimes with me, like, I came so far, I don't really pop my shit. I learned how to be humble because what I do know is God will take that. Like, God will take it. As quick as you got it, it can be taken. And the only thing you'll have left is your family. Family is blood, but family is also friends. You know, God put people in your life for a reason. And 
you got to treat people good. You know, that's why I say I surround myself with people who help me grow or people that I can learn from. I don't listen to nothing that's not going to help me. I don't watch nothing that's not going to teach me. You know, I don't hang with people that's not conducive to my growth. Um, and that's just where I'm at in life. You know, at 28 years old, I feel like I was born and raised on survival. And I'm ready to live. You know, I gave... We put ourselves in a position to give our kids a better life. But that life that we provide for our kids is the life that we're able to give because of God. And we're able to live it because of God. Like, real testament, this is what we do. Like, we've really been through it. Like, some people say they got it out the mud and they don't know what the, what the mud is. Like, we really came from nothing to having all that we have. And I am so thankful and so grateful to be able to give my testimony and give words of encouragement to other people um i know i cry y'all i ain't mean to cry but um it's so much you know behind those tears and it's not tears of sadness it's tears of joy to be able to be where i am today and speak on it um i'm at work i'm at work right now i work from home but i needed to stop and say that um because it was on my heart and i feel like people don't know people don't know and people don't always have somebody in their ear to encourage them and let them know that it's okay to not be okay sometimes. But you got to keep going. Like, it's okay to not be okay. Just don't give up. And that's really what I'm saying. It's okay to not be okay. Just don't give up. And you will be okay.